14th Street and check out an art installation called Life Underground by the American sculptor Tom Otterness. It's all full of whimsical characters and animals. It's extra good and it doesn't cost anything more than the subway ride. So because museums are closed during the coronavirus, this is the perfect art exhibit to check out. And I'm wearing subway tokens today. I'm actually wearing two different subway tokens. The one with the Y cutout is from 1970 when the subway fare was 30 cents. This other one with the hexagonal hole is from 1995 and the hexagonal hole represents the five boroughs of New York City. Oh wait, I got one more. This is from 1953, the earring. This art installation was commissioned by the MTA Arts for Transit program for $200,000 and took 10 years from its commission to its final installation. By year 2000, 25 pieces were installed and today there are 140 individual pieces. Our walk around the 14th Street 8th Avenue subway station is going to be like a scavenger hunt to find all these ominous bronze sculptures. The sewer alligator is one of the largest sculptures and is wearing a suit and tie with a 10 inch high man, a subway rider who is also wearing a suit and he's trying to escape the alligator's jaws. We absolutely love this couple holding hands. All it needs is a doggy likes Hudson, and then it would be just like us. Right, Jimmy? Yep. Look at these adorable characters hanging out on the beam. They got playing cards, dice, and pennies in their hands. Wow, that top guy is holding three aces. What a great hand. Now we're headed upstairs to switch to the A, C, and E subway line where there's even more sculptures. Wow, that's interesting. This drain must lead to the third rail. Guess they can't mop up too heavily here. Wow, look at that. It's a pile of tokens just like I'm wearing. Don't forget to look up at all the whimsical guys on the cross beams and ceiling rafters. Many of the characters have oversized tools with them. Look at that big hammer. Let's take a short detour down the set of stairs leading back to the L platform because there's more guys on the stairwell. Thank you. 
Some of the sculptures, as you can see, repeat in different places along the platforms and mezzanine level. Look at these two having cocktails. It's party time up on that beam. Oh look, here's another whimsical little guy. Look at that one, all the way up there. Yeah, he's really high. We love this cartoon-like elephant and the giraffe character, extra good. This character is giving this super tiny little guy some of his pennies. How sweet! guy reading a book sitting on top of another guy with coins spilling out all over the place. Now we're headed downstairs to the A, C, and E lines to the downtown subway platform. Tom Otternus became so obsessed with the project that he delivered four times the amount of artwork he was originally commissioned for. It looks like some of the bronze sculptures that look more polished, like people touch them and then kind of like give them a polish. Touching them for good luck, I guess. This cop standing on that huge money bag. Oh, look, there are coins spilling out onto the ground. Here's another woman reading a book. cool to see this guy busking right near the sculptures. It's like he's playing for them too. Wow, look at that whimsical telephone. How adorable.
here's another sewer alligator. That's definitely one of our favorite sculptures. Many of the figures have money bag heads, which Adonis credits his inspiration behind them from the political cartoonist Thomas Nast's depiction of Boss Tweed and the corruption of Tammany Hall that was ongoing at the time of the subway's initial construction. Give a listen, look at that big ear and megaphone. Now we're gonna go upstairs again so we can switch to the Uptown ACE subway platform. We can't overlook this guy hanging out on the staircase holding a giant bolt. Look at this adorable squirrel biting into a penny. This is unusual. It looks like some kind of winged insect with someone in his clutches. And then there's this character hanging on for dear life next to it. Look at that policeman watching over those huge feet. fun finding all these bronze sculptures scattered around the station. especially great when you find a sculpture you haven't seen before, like this one. Look at that whimsical lobster. Watch out for his pinchers. This figure with his money bag sitting on the wooden bench is also a favorite of ours. subway token she's holding is the very last token which was made by New York City and was phased out in 2003 by the Metro card.
so much for watching guys. Please hit the subscribe button and notification bell and give our video a thumbs up so YouTube will recommend it to others. You may also love some of our other videos highlighting the MTA and the New York City subway stations. We'll put some links including our best and worst subway station video. That was a good one. Okay, bye guys. Bye guys. And be safe.